and welcome to the FIOFI Circle, a platform which showcases inspirational stories and the journey of eminent thought leaders, creators from different walks of life. In today's episode, we'll be talking to Akshay Gandhi. Akshay, thank you so much and welcome to the FIOFI Circle. Thank you. Uh, we have always been doing theatre since our uh, homo sapien beginning days, you know. So I feel it has so much of, it's like an ocean. And I feel I would like to swim in that ocean for long. If my desire or values are about including the world, uh, giving different meanings to same things, then my theatre will automatically reflect that. And theatre becomes a medium like a bridge between what I believe and what, the, what I want audience to also sort of look at. So Akshay, tell us something about uh, your journey as a theatre practitioner. You know, what really inspired you into being one? So I started theatre a couple of years ago, uh, around 10 years or 11 years ago now. I never had any experience or I never saw theatre as such before. Uh, in my life, like as any other middle class person who, whose families aspire their children to become you know, engineers, doctors, have a safe life, I really, really focused on studies and I get into this institution called Bitspilani, I graduated, I took a job, I had aspirations to do PhD in quantum mechanics and computation and all of that and I was really immersed, I really loved it, I really loved what I was doing. Because I felt it's complex, it's interesting, it's uh, not easy to solve and uh, that always were my driving force. And then one day it happened that one of my friends said, let's watch a theatre. <laughs> and I said, okay, what is theatre? She said, it's just like a film on stage, you know, it's like live film. And I said, okay, great, cool, let's go and watch it. And we watched. Uh, it was a very powerful show. Why it was powerful is, it is the first time I was encountering something which is human, live, at the same time, I know it's not real. There were no rivers on stage, but I can imagine rivers. There were no mountains in space, but I can imagine mountains. I can feel the pain of a lot of people. And at the same time, I know they are actors. So it was an experience which shook me because I started using my imagination. I never read a lot of fiction. I never had any engagement with arts whatsoever. Um, so it took me a lot of time, like an entire week went without I working because I felt something else has happened to me. This imagination started evoking, I started thinking about things which I have never experienced. And I felt I need to investigate this, you know. Wow. So, and that was so strong in me for some reason that I started looking for it. So I started emailing people, can you help me understand what is going on with me, what is happening. And they said, yeah, yeah, when we have workshop, we will let you know. And that time, there is a practitioner called Abhishek Majumdar. He returned from the U from UK and he was starting a nine-month training program. And I said, I would like to join that. Uh, but I had no arts background. So I wrote to him and I said, yeah, yeah, please come in. And I think I still carry that uh, idea of yes, come in, you know, without judging people, uh, supporting you in every form, encouraging you to explore arts. And I went and those nine months were explosive. It really opened up the world of theatre to me and the uh, world of theatre I feel is very very complex because it also has a lot of background. Uh, we have always been doing theatre since our uh, homo sapien beginning days, you know. So I feel it has so much of, it's like an ocean and I feel I would like to swim in that ocean for long. Uh, so last 10 years have been my journey to just understand in what waters I am in and it fascinates me every day. So was that the only primary trigger that you actually had to get into this? So first it was to explore because I don't know what it is because I never felt that uh, in my other things which I was doing. I was doing quantum, I was doing work on device drivers and I was doing research on other things in uh, digital world. But this never happened. So I wanted to investigate, I really wanted to understand. So the nine months were understanding this, exploring this field. And then I felt very strongly that, you know, this is the field I would like to continue explore. Then I felt, no, you need to, I need to test it because I also loved quantum. So there is this love of quantum and then there is this newfound love called theater. So which love is more important to me? 
and I asked myself this question, which I used to do, we used to talk a lot during our college days. If this is my last day of life, would I still like to do this? Wow. And I said, yeah, let me let me ask this question and be really critical about theater. So let me next two to three years, I keep, because I can always push my PhD, because I was looking for doing a PhD in quantum. I can always push that and explore, because this is for lifetime. These decisions are not for one year or two years, these are for lifetime decisions. So I said, okay, let me explore. And I explored and there were days when a lot of difficult things were going on. My grandmother passed away and I had a show coming up in three days. A uh, lot of things happened and I really tested myself that can I still go in the rehearsal room? Do I, does it still pull me in the on stage? And those tests actually clarified step by step that you know I deeply respect this field. I really want to investigate and I still feel if this is my last day I would prefer to be in rehearsal room. Wow, that's and a very profound statement to actually make. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you perceive your life as a theatre practitioner?